IFL TV. My man Cassius Cougar. We're gonna rock a live here in Great Britain. I love Great Britain. It's nice and cold here though. That's the one thing. Great Britain is cold. And, um, but I love it though. The people here are fabulous. The fans are fabulous. The fans are actually probably the most craziest boxing fans in the world. British boxing. Yeah, come on live, baby. Okay, this is Coogan Cassius for Eiffel TV. We're in the hotel room of Mr. James Tony here. He's been very kind enough to invite me here. It's this lovely room, kitchen and everything. Yeah. How are you, sir, first of all? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm, glad. I'm happy to be here. I'm here in um, beautiful Great Britain. Um, the fans here are passionate about their boxing. I'm excited. You've been in the sport for 25 years. Yeah. You're a free weight world champion. No, no, no. See, there you go. See, what, what, he, see, I want everybody to get this right. Every boxing runner across the world, get get this right, put player hating on me. I've been in six divisions. I've won six world titles, 12 times world champion. So if you think I'm lying, just be, do, do your due diligence. Go look at my record. You'll see all the world titles I've won on my last year. Thank you very much. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. So, I won't, so do, do you, have you looked at my record? I know you. Have you looked at yeah, my, I have looked at your record. And if, if you looked at my record, then you would you would acknowledge me. Why? Why? why you don't you want to acknowledge the other boys' hands? Or what, what's wrong? Or you just or you just um um hang on the coattails of the we be crooks, we be asking. You know what I'm saying? IBF. Yeah, okay, like, yeah. I've just picked out the IBF titles. I'll be honest with you. See, I've won an IBF title. I've won an IBF title. I'm an IBF. I'm the first IBF world champion. Which, which y'all, y'all, y'all give Klitschko credit for it when I give me credit for it. I've won a WBU title. I've won, I've won a title out there, so, you know, world, world title. So, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sell myself short. That's fair enough then. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, fair enough then. Yeah. That is fair enough. I was just picking out no, no, no. certain yeah, titles. You can see, but my thing, I'll, 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 I don't acknowledge them no more because they'll, they'll acknowledge me. Because, uh, also, the other, the, the, the other organizations, they, they I didn't forget, so I forget them. And uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. Um, my question was, yes, sir. why prize fighter now? Why prize fighter now? Because everybody, I've been trying to fight for the last six, seven months. Everybody been ducking and dodging me like Batman and Robin. And, um, so, you know, and then they called and they said, you want to get a prize fight? And I was like, no problem. Let's go. I'm, I'm a fighter. I fight any time anywhere. How proud are you of the fact that you've had 88 fights? I've got that right, haven't I, before I make another mistake. 88 fights. You've never, ever been stopped, which is quite unbelievable in, in that amount of fights. You've never been stopped. Never been, tell, never been stopped, never will. I be I, I see, everybody call me lights out. I put the lights out. I'll get my lights put out. You know, and, I, and like I said, the thing is, basically, um, I've been, I've been, I've been trained by the best, by the best trainer in the world. Ever, Bill Miller. He's the head architect of Crunk Jimmy and Detroit. And we know how, if you know how to fight, you gonna know how to fight. Survive more. Even though there were times, there were times when I've been not in great shape. I admit that. And one time we against Roy Jones. And other time we against Monty Griffin. Other time against um, Sam Pierce. But um, but they still couldn't do nothing to me. That let you know. That let you know how the skill level was. The skill. The skill level. The skill level. Was as high as everybody thought it was. Are you still hoping to get another crack at the world title, uh, heavyweight world title? Man, let me tell you something. Titles don't mean nothing to me. It's about the money. You know, lot about it. It's about the money. If title, title comes, title comes because if some of the this is, this is um internet TV, right? You can say whatever you want. If you want to talk about the Biscos, the Bisco sisters. I'm not worried about them no more. It's been 10 years, they've been, they've been, they've been dying me forever. You know what I'm saying? So they have one excuse after another. They tell me I'm too short, I'm too fat, but then they go fight somebody like David Sabadasi. You know what I'm talking about? And he's short and fatter than I am. So, you know, and he, he, so I don't, I, don't, I don't worry about that. Right now, I'm also the current IBU World Heavyweight Champion. So I'm looking for, after this fight, I probably should defend the title. I hope, we, hope we get some names. Maybe come out to Great Britain and defend it. Um, 
I just, I'm, I'm just looking forward to fighting and fighting these three more years. You try to fight the title. If not, just keep beating everybody in front of me. From the UK heavyweights, yeah. who do you think's any good? Dave Hay. You think he's the best UK heavyweight? Yeah. Yeah. Dave Hay is very easy. Yeah, yeah. Even you, you may not think so, but he's a, he's a very exceptional fighter because he came from a lot. He started a lot heavyweight, and he won a cruel title. He had, he had a little setback, but he came back. He fought, and then he fought one of the Bisco sisters, and he didn't do so well because I feel that he wouldn't try hard enough. Cause if he would try hard enough, he could have beat that dude. What about Tyson Fury? What about who? Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury. He's a tosser. Okay. Um, not a fan of Mr. Fury then, Mr. No, Tony. The guy got a big mouth. I mean, he's in the jury talking junk when he came first. Steve could have him. Man, and I said, the guy got be, he had like he's the greatest thing since sliced cheese. Before he started talking shit, fight somebody for real. Fight somebody for real. I mean, seriously, if you came to me like that, uh, I'm telling you right now, you'd be, you'd be in the hospital. I don't play. I don't play. James, you met our uh, Olympic gold, yeah. gold medalist, Anthony Joshua, downstairs. And you said something quite interesting. You said that in six months' time that he would beat Deontay Wilder. Is something you mean? I mean, I, I watched the kid box yesterday. I, I watched his film. You know, I, I was very impressed by his, I, I'm very impressed by his, by his build. I'm very impressed by his skill level. And I think, you know, with time, if, they put, if they put him in with the right fights, we're going to rush him too soon, he can do it. And, and I, I, right now, me personally... His skill level is better than Deontay Wilder. And the reason why I'm saying is Deontay Wilder is fighting Kentucky Fried Chicken Bums. He ain't fighting nobody. We, okay, he fought, he fought Farley Harrison. Farley could even spell fight. Okay. Um, do you think Deontay Wilder is, is capable of becoming world champion? Not, not, not as long as I'm around. Ain't nobody here with champion but James Lightshot. Nobody. I don't care about them, I don't care about them, 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 them sisters overseas. They they keep the belt over there. They, they they can have it because they only they they, they they hurting the sport instead of helping the sport. They are hurting it, but it is what it is. We 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 don't, we don't talk about them. You were on uh, ringside uh, on Sky the other day. Um, Enjoy that show with uh, Johnny Nelson and Adam oh, Smith. Johnny Nelson is a great person, good good individual to talk to. He had, he had a great career. We were champions at the same time. I think I had to fight him because, you know, I didn't want to beat him up. Well, um, well he's a good fighter, um, a great TV personality, and uh, I have fun. How have you found your time in England since you've been here? How long have you been here? About a week and a half, two I've weeks? Been, I've been here five days. And, uh, I, like I said, I've always loved Great Britain, here, especially here in London. I've always loved the place. Even when I came back here, when I, I came here for the first time in 1991, when I thought I was going to fight Nigel Ben or Chris Eubanks, but it never happened. But um, I, I have fun. I love it. Have you come across the Queen yet? No, I haven't seen. I, I, I'm, 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 I wouldn't know what she looked like. She's quite old. Grey, <laughs> grey hair. She travels with a lot of security. You may run into her uh, while you're here. She like me in Detroit though. I remember, I, I remember our security. But hey, but you know, like I said, hey, she, God bless her. Hope she, hope she lives a long time. I, I wouldn't know what she looked like. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but like I said I love Great Britain. That's all I can tell you. A lot of people said that are you going to be worried about interviewing James Tony? I said, what? that's what I'm just thinking. For what? Man, please don't. See, everybody always doing all the talking about how James Tony is crazy. You know, James Tony this, James Tony that. But that only happens when people piss me off and you see what happens in the morning. Yeah, I saw it first hand actually. That, 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 see, when people do that, when people disrespect me, I feel if, if, I, if, I, if I make a conscious effort to be on time and be ready to do what I do, I feel whoever wants to do this should be on time and have make a conscious effort to be on time and make shit happen. And that's why things happen like this. But basically, I have fun. I have joke. I'm a jokester. I have fun every day. And it is what it is. And I'm sorry for what happened today, but. They bought, they bought out of me. She did that. That's all right. Listen, it is what it is. It's done. What's done is done. Weigh in on Wednesday, fight night Thursday. Oh, yeah. We're good. We're good. I'm, hey, right now, I'm relaxed and chill in my room. Go train tonight, have fun, 
and get ready to do all get in my morning. It's a, it's a, it's a for the interview. It's a for the interview part. And yeah, gee, I'm, I'm getting ready to go to war. Thursday, war time. Ready to go to war. Beast mode. Beast mode. Seriously, beast mode. All right, well, listen, James, I'm not going to take too much of your time. Thank you very much for talking to him. Hey, Gosh, I appreciate you. IFL TV, you said it in the first go. IFL TV, watch out, lights out, baby. This is Coogan Cassius with James Lights Out, Tony here. Coogan Cassius for IFL TV, with lights out, James, Tony. You better watch out, the one and only. Hey, James, you know I'm a, I'm a reserve in the prize fight, don't you? Really? Let's yeah. get, oh, right. well, you talk too. I like talking people. Yeah. You know why? So if some if someone gets injured or anything, I might face you in the quarterfinals. Well, then you're in trouble. Well, if we do, if we fa- if we face me in the quarterfinals, be prepared to fall in sections, one part at a time. Remember Holyfield? Yeah. Remember Pichel Williams? Yeah, let's not go there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kevin Cassius with James Tony. Thank you very much. <laughs>